Nice Hub's Project Warehouse is the replacement for Nice Central, still a web-based centralized data repository for managing, sharing, storing, and publishing data. The Project Warehouse adds several new features and streamlines the process of viewing experimental data. On the main Project Warehouse page, two options are available. The user may browse the list of featured projects or search for a specific project. Let's explore the Search tab. There are two ways to search for a project. Clicking the blue arrow on the left-hand side of the page will open the project tree. Projects with a P icon are publicly accessible. A green P denotes that the project is curated. An orange P means that the project is not curated. Clicking a connector icon will display the subsections, such as the experiment list, project members, etc. In this way, you can browse the components of a project and click the link to jump straight into a section that interests you. Clicking the blue arrow again will close the project tree. Now let's look at the search engine. Here, you may search the project database by keyword, type, funding, member name, and start and end date. For example, let's enter the keyword walls and choose NSF as the funding source, then click Go. Now we see the list of results. At left, we see an overview of all projects returned by the search. To view more detailed information, look under the Results listing and click on a project link. On the Project View page, the user may read about project details, including dates, equipment, and publications. Click More to see photographs from the experiment. The Team Members tab displays a list of those who worked on the project. To display that member's Nice Hub profile, click on their name. The Experiments tab displays all of the experiments within a project. To display more details about an experiment, click an experiment's name. Let's take a look at the first experiment in the list. Here we see the experiment description, dates, the facility at which the experiment was conducted, specimen types and materials, sensor lists, and more. Let's plot some data. Click the Plot Sensor Data link and NiceHub loads the appropriate files into Indeed. In the sensor list along the left side, we'll choose two sensors to display. We click Plot, and Indeed takes care of the rest analyzing and visualizing our selected sensor data. We may save this data to our own computer for later use. You may save the data in comma-separated values or as an image. Let's save it as an image. Now we choose our format and download the file. And just like that, we have it. Now it's your turn. The best way to learn the new features offered by the Project Warehouse is to try them for yourself. We invite you to create a free account on Nisub and get started today.